the next thing that is important is hit and miss transform so the hit and miss transform is denoted as like this and it is given by a erosion with b1 intersection of complement of a erosion with b2 let's understand with an example so here this is my image a it is a, a box a square box i can see and these are my two structuring elements b1 and b2 so here this is the seed point as this is an 3 by 3 matrix so i have a center element so that will be my seed point and uh, so according to the formula what i need to do is first erosion of a with b1 so erosion of a with b1 what uh, mean thing of erosion is i'll have to put the seed point and trace it at every pixel and wherever there is a perfect match of 1 wherever there is a perfect match of 1 at that time the seed point and the output will be 1 else it is 0 so when this total structuring element is placed over here say first at the first uh, seed point the seed point is placed over here we see that uh, here there should be one at the seed point and a one below which is not the case over here because we have put that uh, st structuring element at the first pixel hence that will be a zero here also there is a one below it but there is no one at the seed point hence this is again zero we are talking about erosion in erosion the perfect match of one is necessary wherever there is one in the structuring element there should be one at the image when you map the seed point with each pixel so you see there will be all zeros so this structure is only seen at say over here when i put the whole matrix over here i see that the seed point is one also there is a one below it seed point is one there is one we also see that there are ones over here but we don't care about them we just need to see if there is one where we want in the image where there is in the structuring element so no doubt there is one over here and there is zero but it does not matter it is okay for erosion only one should be at the perfect place hence there is a one over here the same concept uh, goes when you put the seed point over here the structure uh, the structuring element would be like this you have one below uh, you have one at the seed point and no one below it hence the answer is one you don't have to see anything else so basically you can just ignore these points you can all ignore this points just see about this wherever the seed point there is one and a one below it that is uh, that'll give you a one at the output so all these cases 1 1 1 1 1 hence this row is totally one the next 1 1 1 1 1 hence the second row is again one again third row 1 1 1 1 1 Hence the third row is also one. Now the fourth row, one, 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 one. Hence the fourth row is also one. Now when you go on the fifth row, you see when you will put the structuring element uh, that is the seed point over here, and the structuring element would be something like this at uh, this position. You see there is no one below this. There should be a one below the seed point, which is not the case over here. hence the fifth row wouldn't wouldn't be one instead would be zero so this is the output of the a erosion with b1 so here we have done a erosion with b1 now according to the formula this is done this is remaining complement of a erosion with b2 so the complement of a would be nothing but replacing zeros by one and one by zeros so this is that we have done over here now b2 is given over here b2 is uh, 
here this so the seed point is over here the center element what I want is the seed point should be 0 and uh, sorry the seed point is 0 and there is a 1 below uh, above it so when we match this with this the only thing that we want is above the seed point the answer should be 1 wherever there is a seed point above it there should be 1 others are not considered others don't care about them so we see uh, say you put the seed point over here above it if there is uh, here there is nothing so you put a zero over here the whole line will go when you put the seed point you can just uh, ignore all these things you can just uh, take see uh, under you can just make it or understand that only this is your structuring element only this much so wherever there is a seed point there should be one above it that's it that's it what we want so this is not this is not the case over here above there is nothing also when we'll do it over here let's say the seed point is over here we have a one above it we have a one about it hence the answer will be one you don't care if here there is a, there is a one on the seed point or a zero because erosion is only a one fan it will just it just wants a one at the exact position zeros doesn't matter to him so when we see over here we see the seed point uh, when we we'll apply the seed point over here that is the seed point will be here in the structuring element like this we have a one above it just that it wants it wants a one above it and hence this is one similarly here the seed point is zero there is a one above it there is one here seed point is zero one above it one above it one above it here the seed point is one but there is one above it hence it is one it does not matter whether the zeros the zeros can take anything zeros can be one or zero the only condition is on one wherever there is one there should be one in the image so like this we get this output there you can see there is all ones hence these ones will be over here and the same thing is reflected over here so this is my a complement eroded with b2 here now the formula says you just need to take the intersection of the both intersection means that uh, if you remember ones are the priority the sets are actually the elements of one so what we need to do is see wherever there is one and wherever there is one over here because you need to intersect these two things uh, you have to intersect A erosion B1, A erosion B1 intersected by uh, A complement erosion B2. A complement erosion B2. So, what you do is you see wherever there is one over here, there should be a one over here. If that is a case, the intersected output will be one. You see here there is a whole zero, there is whole zero, so there it is zero. Here there is one. But here there is 0, hence this full row is 0. Here there is 1, but here there is 0, hence this whole row is also 1. Here there is 1, here also there is 1, hence this makes it 1. Here there are 1s, but here there are zeros, hence those are zeros. So this is all about hit and miss transform. Here we see that there are two structuring elements that are used. In case if in exam or somewhere you just get one structuring element say B1 only one structuring element then what we need to do is B2 is nothing but the complement of B1 B2 is nothing but the complement of B1 and you follow the same procedure as done over here you follow the same uh, formula just at B2 you will uh, put a B1 complement and you will get the answer that was all about hit and miss transform thank you